this is the story of the baptism of Jesus. Jesus' birth and growth. When Jesus was born, he looked up into his mother Mary's eyes. He saw the cross. When he looked up into his father Joseph's eyes, The cross was also there. <laughs> they took care of him, held him close, and gave him everything he needed. Jesus lost and found. When Jesus was about 12 years old, his family and him went to Jerusalem. When it was time to go, Mary and Joseph were frightened because they discovered that Jesus was not with them. They searched and searched and finally found him in the temple. They asked him why he did this, and he said, Didn't you know? Oh, I would be in my father's house? Mary and Joseph did not understand, but they did not forget. Finally, we get to the baptism of Jesus. Jesus grew and became a man. When he was about 30 years old, he went down to the River Jordan where his cousin, John, was baptizing people. Do you see John? You can only see the back of his head. He... <laughs> was a wild man. Jesus waited in the river until he was face to face with John. He said to John, baptize me. John looked at Jesus and as if for the first time, as if for the first time and said, how can I baptize you? You are the Messiah, the one we have been waiting for. You must baptize me. This was Jesus' response. No, it is written that you will come before me and prepare the way. Baptize me. Finally, John said okay. Jesus went down to the darkness and chaos of the water. And, 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 and when John lifted him back up into the light, there were people there that said they saw a dove come down from heaven and come close to him. There were also people there that said they heard a voice. The voice said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. After that, after Jesus was baptized, he went across the river and into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights to figure out more about who he was and what his work was going to be. I wonder if there is anything in your home that you can bring to tell more about this story. You can go get it after church, but if you don't feel like it, that's okay. You don't have to. We can just look at this picture for a moment more.
So this is a time of year that reminds me of my father. Um, so I thought that I'd read a story called Grandfather and I. This is a book by Helen Buckley and Jan Armrod. Grandfather and I are going for a walk. It will be a slow walk because Grandfather and I never hurry. We walk along and walk along and stop and look just as long as we'd like. Other people we know are always in a hurry. Mothers hurry, they walk in a hurry and talk in a hurry, and they always want you to hurry. But grandfather and I, we never hurry. We walk along and walk along and stop and look just as long as we'd like. But grandfather and I never hurry. We walk along and stop and look just as long as we'd like. Brothers and sisters hurry too. They go so fast they often bump into you. And when they take you for a walk, they are always leaving you far behind. But grandfather and I, we never hurry. We walk along and walk along and stop and look just as long as we like. Do you see the squirrel? Things hurry. Cars, and buses, trains and little boats. They make noises when they hurry toot whistles and blow horns, and sometimes they scare you. But grandfather and I never hurry. We walk along and walk along and stop and look just as long as we'd like. until someone tells us to hurry. Now let's have a little prayer for Lent. Lent is a time for giving up something valuable so we can remember how great a blessing it is. Lent is a time for taking up something valuable so we can remember to bring some blessing to others. I hope you find the blessing of this day. We'll see you soon. Take care.